Hey everyone, it's Noisy Neighbors, and welcome back to another segment of What We Are Digging. Last month, we got to hang out and have a guitar day with homie Esteban from Originetics. We went to a Schecter warehouse sale, or was it a sidewalk sale? No, it was, uh, it was a little bit of both. So it was basically their after Christmas Black, uh, Black Friday thing um, that I believe they were doing. Um, so once we were there, we were walking around checking out a couple of the uh, the gits that they had, and we stumbled across this one-off um, uh, KM7, the uh, signature Keith Mara model. Mm -hmm. um, pretty cool. It's um, it's actually right here. Um, Brought that baby home. Look at it. Yeah, so pretty. Pretty nice. Um, so this one has. It's not the it, you know the the trans white finish that you normally get. It's actually just. Uh, uh, what do you what do you even say about it? It's like almost slightly green. I think that's what I was kind of like one of those one-offs. I described it to someone at work, or a, a buddy is like, "Hey man, if you've ever had the Chick Fil A lime ranch avocado sauce, that's exactly the color." And he was <laughs> like, "That sounds disgusting." And he said it in his head, he's like, "Okay, that actually sounds like exactly pretty good." But this is exactly the color. You probably can't tell. It probably looks white on your end, but this is like it looks exactly like lime ranch avocado sauce. It's cool. It's got a hint of green. Pretty cool. The flame maple is kind of covered by the sand and it's not a really thick finish, but it feels badass. It feels super cool and it sounds even meaner. You got the sentient and nozzle pickups over here and with cool coil tap too. So if I want a more attack or more of a stratty sound, you can pull that out too. And I think it plays really well with uh, amp modelers too. Yeah. Um, not only that, I mean, some of the other specs on it, you got the Schecter locking tuners. Um, 26 and a half inch scale already came with uh, 9 to 62s on there. So I mean um, It just sounds rad. Oh also it's a uh, ash body with a uh, with a maple top um, It's gonna be it's a, uh, a set through design So it's not exactly neck through but it actually has the neck set into it as well um, Into the body there. Don't worry at all. I got the hip shot bridge the neck is a little thicker than I was used to, but it takes it took me a little bit to get used to it. But now I wouldn't change it for the world because the thing is a riffer and a half. Up uh, up in the high end, you feel you feel pretty good. You don't feel like a shredder, but you feel like your notes are secure. You don't have to worry about slipping off, or you know what I mean. It's just, it's a good amount of tactile. Yeah, I mean that's just kind of what we've been digging on right now. It's like our uh, it's our main guitar that we're using, and uh, we're stoked. You can hear it. Well, well, we didn't use it on X-Men cover. Uh, no, but if you do want to hear any more clips for it, um, you know, um, go ahead and click right here. And um, there's a, you know, it's one of our, uh, huh, you can fucking hear it there, so fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, this wraps it up for another segment of What We Were Digging. Talk to you soon. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you have any suggestions of what we should be doing next, give us a shout. Yeah, later, guys. Thanks. Bye. And cut.